We were talking about graphing polynomial functions and n behavior, and we want to identify polynomial functions. So there's different versions of polynomials, but some things that give it away and can help us understand how many degrees each function is. So uh, here we have a couple examples, and we have a constant function with degree 0. So in this case, we have zero zeros. In, in, that, in that case, that means that the graph does not cross the x-axis. Then we have a linear function of degree 1, and then this one has 1, 0. And we can see that that crosses the x-axis right there, and that's the 0. Then we have a quadratic function of degree 2. So when we think degree 2, we're thinking that it has two zeros. And next one, we have a cubic function of degree 3. And in that case, we think that we have three zeros. So there's three zeros there, degree three. So we have three zeros. Then we have a quartic function. So degree four means that we think that there are going to be, or expect that there's going to be four zeros. And then quintic, we have five, degree five. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be five zeros.